I got some work to do. about half an hour of driving, maybe a little less to the spot that I scouted out, but it looks good. There's puddles on the side of the road. It's really humid. This looks amazing. So let's hope that, uh, let's hope I'm not screwing myself by driving another half hour. But I think that the spot that I'm going to got more rain based on charts and stuff. So here's hoping. It literally took less than one second for the first queen to show up at the light. It's just a Dory Mermex queen, so nothing crazy, but literally the instant that I turned the light on, there's another one. Dory Mermex flying in. The instant that I turned the light on, queens. That's insane. It's so wet here. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, it's so wet. This is amazing. Oh yeah. Laceus Arizonicus queen. Well, that's unexpected. Solenopsis queen and male. <laughs> this Campanotus ocreatus major is so big. I honestly thought it was a queen at first. I mean, look at it compared to that Nova Master worker. This thing is gigantic. Campanotus ocreatus queen. I've been getting some. Very, very large Campanotus males at the light. So I kind of figured it would be only a matter of time before I came across one of these. Hopefully we get a lot more. Because that is spectacular. Oh. Big Mermecosistos. These guys are probably going to fly in the morning. That species group is a... They're morning flyers. So, uh, yeah. Hee hee hee. Me got another Ocreatus queen. Yes. Look at her, so pretty. What is she? You good, bro? <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take me to find these guys out tonight. Some lovely Neva Mermax. Actually, some of the nicest looking Neva Mermax I've seen in a while. Uh, they're attacking a termite wing there, but it looks like they're raiding some, uh, Forelius. I see a bunch of Forelius running around with Brood. So, I'll be interested to see if I can find where they go, but they kind of disappear into the leaf litter. So I'm walking around. These velvet mites are supposed to be common, but this is actually, I think, the first one that I've ever seen. And honestly... They're really cool, and big. I like them. Got some tracky Mermex. There was one carrying a leaf, like a little dead leaf somewhere. I'm not sure what species this is, likely Arizonensis, but not entirely sure. But it's nice to see some tracky out. So I have some bad news. You may be able to hear the wind is picking up, which is bad for two reasons. One, it means that ants are going to have a harder time flying, and they may even stop releasing elates altogether. It also is bad news because it means that the storm, or that a storm, I guess, could be coming through. Another little spurt of rain, which obviously would not be ideal at this point in time. We've already had enough rain for flights, and so more especially at this time of night, could disrupt things pretty severely. Um, so let's hope that this wind kind of doesn't keep doing this and uh, goes away. But so far we've already got some pretty good stuff, so if it did rain it wouldn't be the end of the world. I would probably just sit in my car and wait for it to stop raining and then continue looking around. 
Just busted open this big old Ocreatus colony. Lots of pupae right at the surface. A little tunnel there. Some majors out. Pretty cool. Get a load of this dude on the move. Where's he going? Whipped out the UV flashlight for this one. We got. A I think it's just a striped tail. Pretty common scorpion. But no matter what scorpion it is, they're fun to look at when they're glowing under a black light like that. I have no idea where this girl came from. It's been like an hour since I found the last one. Since I found any queens. It's been dead. The wind, I think, cut a lot of flights short. It has not died down, but I guess this Ocreatus queen has not found somewhere that she wanted to start her colony yet, so she's going to do so in my collection. Yes. I almost didn't even notice it, because it looks, I mean, its butt looks like a rock at a glance, but check out this ginormous camel spider digging a little hole here. This is definitely one of the bigger individuals that I've seen. I actually only saw it because I saw this Nova Master worker digging in this pit for some reason. Yeah, uh, thing is massive. That's crazy. Check out this Fidoli Desertorum trail. They're moving into there, it looks like. Tons of male elates in the trail. Um, not entirely sure why they're moving. I'm going to go ahead and walk down and see if I can see where they're coming from. But they're moving into this spot right here. Very interesting. I was wondering when these guys were going to show up. We're in perfect habitat for them. And here they are actually being surface active, which I rarely see, even though they're supposed to be surface active. They could be releasing elates, but I haven't seen any. I will definitely be keeping my eye out, though, because I would love to keep a colony of these guys. Look at those amazing soldiers with their pointy heads. They're so cool. I love them. Do you see it? What about now? It's a western shorthorn walking stick. This is actually the second one I've seen tonight, but this one is a lot nicer looking and doing really well. So he's the one that gets to be on camera. Nice. Yo, I just accidentally found cool termites. Look at this. And then this dead stump. I don't even know what they are, but they're big. Look at them. That's pretty neat. Wonder where any soldiers are. You know, maybe I am the weird one. It is 1240 at night. I'm sitting here hunched over, tearing apart a stump to collect termites. Now, look at them. They're sick. I found the soldiers, and they're awesome. But still. <laughs> Got some more Neva Mermex here, carrying termite reproductives. That's pretty funny. Uh, these are a different species than before, like Nigrescens, probably, maybe Texanus, something like that. Looks like they had a pretty successful night. These guys do love to eat termites, and you can, I'm sure, tell. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. We officially have morning flights. It's some tiny fiddly and a male. It's like 4 a.m. now. Actually, it's almost 5 a.m. I set the black light back up. There's almost nothing here, but there's an ant queen. So that's cool. Yeah. I figured these guys were going to fly this morning, but I haven't actually seen any colonies until now. But these native Tetramorium are getting posted up. Probably going to start taking off very soon. Which is exciting, because I like keeping these guys. I want to get some queens. So remember how I said I had never seen those velvet mites before?
They're freaking everywhere. They've come out in droves. Look, there's another one. Oh, look. There's tons of them. Look at this. All over the place. What's going on? Why are there so many? They're all over. Well, evidently, tenure roaster termies have a lates. These things are massive. I mean, pretty dang big, especially the wings. I mean, the the termite itself is actually probably only about the size of anathotermes, but those wings are huge and really nice looking. It's almost a shame that they tear them off after they mate. Or after they pair up, I guess. That's pretty cool. I guess now I know what to look for because I've been wanting to catch those and don't know what their lates look like. So now I know what their lates look like. <laughs> I found a canthostichus. Oh my goodness. Dude, what the heck? I mean, it's been a while. It's been like five months since I've seen these. You, I posted a video where I found them, but I found them again. Let's go. I've been thinking about it too. I've been flipping rocks with termites and stuff, and I've been thinking, wow, these rocks look really good for acanthostichus. And would you look at that? <laughs> So a relatively successful time. This morning was a little lackluster. Nothing really exciting happened, uh, except for finding that acanthostichus, of course. Um, I'm gonna just drive out here. I'm gonna probably stop at a few little pullouts to see uh, if there are founding chambers from flights last night, or maybe some flights this morning that happened in other places, but not the spot that I was at. Uh, then I'm gonna chill at a friend's house and go again tomorrow night. And you'll see that in this video. So stay tuned, because it's not over yet. So guys, we've been out here for eight minutes. We have a bunch of Nova Messer queens. We have another Campanorzo Creatus queen. They flew again tonight. And we have a Heros. Oh my goodness. It's been so long since I've featured one of these on the vlog. This was literally my second ever vlog. It was the only time I've ever featured one of these. And this one, it's beautiful. It's so big. It's amazingly healthy looking. I'm so excited about that. Do you have both of the lights? I mean... Oh my goodness. I just spotted it. It was it was on the move in the bushes over there. I knew this was perfect habitat for it when I was here last night. I knew this place would have Haros. Yet I did not expect to actually find one. Let's go! Probably one of our last finds of this trip is this... Oh! Where do you go? <laughs> I got a good video of him, but uh, there he is. This gorgeous rainbow grasshopper. It's a, a sub-adult or a juvenile, I'm not really sure, but it's gorgeous. Look at it. Alrighty, everyone, that is gonna mark the end of today's video. I'm so glad the monsoons have started, and of course you can expect so much more monsoon season content coming very soon. I'm so glad to be able to get out there, catch ant queens, see all these cool bugs that are coming out from the rains, and everything else that might happen to be out. We didn't see any in this video, but snakes will be out too. It'll be great. There'll be so much good stuff, and I'm so excited to share it all with you. So, in the meantime, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.